Hey guys, Casey Ferris here. Thanks for checking out another video of mine here on YouTube. Today we are talking about keyframes inside of the Fusion tab of DaVinci Resolve 15. Keyframes in Fusion are actually pretty simple, but they're kind of under the hood a little bit. So I thought it'd be a good idea to do a little guide on it for anyone who's confused about animating things. So here's our shot. It's a drone shot descending on these little rocks at the coast. And I want it to go through this kind of cloud layer that I have composited on top. This is just fast noise inside of Fusion. If you want to know more about this, let me know. I'll make a tutorial on that. But what I want to happen is when the camera comes down that it, you know, in pretend land goes through the clouds and the clouds clear and it's nice and beautiful and no longer foggy. Easiest way to do that is just fade this top layer out, which I can do easily with this merge node. I have the clouds tracked to this footage and laid on top of my original shot and inside of the merge, there's an attribute called blend. That's pretty much the opacity of the foreground layer. So I can bring this down like this and I essentially can fade it out. So to set a keyframe, all I have to do is go to where I want the animation to start, which we'll start at the beginning of the shot. How about that? I'm gonna go over here in my inspector with my merge node selected and right here by blend, I'm gonna hit this little diamond. Once it turns orange, that means it's set a keyframe. Now I'm gonna to move to where I want this to be completely faded out, let's say eh, over here, and I'll just move this blend down to zero. And now if I look on this little timeline, I see a little white tick mark, that means I have a keyframe there and it animates in between the keyframes. So that's pretty simple, but what if I want to adjust them? All I have to do is go up here to keyframes, that opens a little window here and it has a little mini timeline with all of my nodes stacked on top of each other. Now, this isn't like the layers in a composite. These are just all the timelines being shown at once. So it doesn't really matter if a layer's on top of one another. It's kind of just a random list here. So if we look really hard here under merge one, we'll see there's a little arrow. If I twirl that down, we can see I have one attribute that's animated called blend. And right inside this window, if I grab either of these sides, I can move my animation back and forth and adjust the timing there. So that makes it really easy and I can compare it with other attributes if there's other stuff going on in the shot that I care about. So that's pretty simple, but let's say I want this to start to fade out slower and not just fade down in a linear fashion like this. I can go up to this button by my keyframes button called spline and open that up. And this is the panel where you can adjust your animation curves. So I'll move this up a little bit, give us some room. And over here, you can select the attributes that you want to view curves for. Here we just have merge one and blend, which is what we want. And this goes off the screen all wonky. And so what I'm gonna do is hit this button right here, which is called zoom to fit, click that. And here we have our whole animation from beginning to end in a graph. Here I can add keyframes and mess with things if I want to. Here just by clicking on the line, I can add keyframes and mess with things. But I think what I'm gonna do is just select this first keyframe and hit F. And what that does is flatten out these control points and pretty much just makes it ease in and out of my keyframes and kind of smoothen out that animation a little bit. So there we go, we have a nice fade. that looks a little bit more natural than just a linear fade. There's all kinds of different controls in this panel. You can really get detailed with your keyframes, but I pretty much wanted to just open that up and show you because, you know, they're kind of hidden. It's a little bit scary, but for some basic animation and compositing works really well. So there you go, hope that makes sense. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. If you like this, hit like. And for more post-production DaVinci Resolve Fusion color grading, all kinds of those type of tutorials. Make sure to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. My name again is Casey Ferris. I will catch you next time.